three fifty four. And first of all, I want to thank all of you guys for subscribing and liking and commenting on my past videos. So I know I haven't filmed the video in a while. I've been in school. I just finished my first year of college. I got all A's and B's finishing out. I'm so excited and proud of myself. So, since I'm done with school, other than my summer classes, I'll be able to film a new video, well, two new videos every week. So, I have a lot of new content coming up for you guys. I have some giveaways planned, and I'm planning on starting my blog. Hopefully, I have all that up by June. So, today, I'm going to be doing a transitioning video. And a lot of you guys have been commenting and asking me about my transitioning process, and I decided to come and share with you guys what I went through with transitioning. So basically these are just tips on how to transition and I'm going to have a natural hair journey video which will go more into detail about my transitioning process but I just want to give you guys a little info and tips on how to go through your transitioning process. So when I first got a relaxer I was in 6th grade and I remember telling my mom I wanted my hair to be straight like Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. So I used to love Mary Kay and Ashley. My mom was trying to tell me that my hair will never, well, won't be straight like theirs because their hair is naturally straight. But I found out that I could get a perm or a lash to straighten my hair. So I begged and begged my mom. And she finally went through and let me get a relaxer. So my mom's hair style did my relaxer. And I loved how it turned out. It turned out so pretty and silky and straight. So I was team relaxer. But I really need a relaxer. This is my second... That was my first time. I'm going to tell you about my second experience getting a relaxer. So it was around Thanksgiving in my seventh grade year. This was in 2007, I think. Yeah, I think it was 2007. But it was around 2007, and I really needed a relaxer for Thanksgiving. But my mom's hair styles was books. So we decided, some of my friends were telling us about the hair school and they do a good job and it's cheap. So we decided to go ahead and book an appointment and go to the hair school. Well, since you know they're students, not a lot of them are experienced and everything. And the lady left my the relaxer in my hair for way too long. So pretty much the nape of my hair, after time, it fell out. Like it just kept breaking off. So after that, I just decided to, um, well, I didn't really know I was going natural. I just kn knew I wanted to get the perm out of my hair because it was breaking off and damaging my hair. So my cousin, she had moved from Miami to Atlanta, and she braided my hair for me. She's a hairstylist, and she took care of my hair for me. So basically, while I was transitioning during the process, I didn't really know. I was sorry, I'm looking down at my phone. But I didn't really know I was going through the transitioning process because basically I just wanted to get the perm out and I just wanted my hair to grow. So I kept raising my hair pretty much the whole time I was transitioning. And by, I want to say 2009, yeah, I think it only took two years for me to grow my relaxer out of my hair. So, but the only thing is, while I was transitioning, I would get braids, and when I didn't have braids, I would have my hair flat iron. So basically, I just kept putting heat on my hair. Even once I was done transitioning, I kept flat ironing my hair, and I didn't truly embrace my natural texture until 2012. So, I just want to give you guys some tips on how to transition and what not to do during your transitioning process and about healthy hair practices. So my first tip is to stop putting heat and damaging things on your hair. If you're trying to get rid of a relaxer, you want to go back and um, put a relaxer on your hair. If you're trying to get rid of heat damage, you want to keep flat ironing your hair. So basically, you need to stop doing things that damage your hair. So stay away from all heat tools, wand curlers, blow dryers, flat irons, all these things are damaging your hair. And if your hair is already damaged, it makes no sense to keep doing those same things to damage your hair. And I didn't really truly understand that process because even though I was, I finished being, having a relaxer in my hair and I was going natural, I still kept flat ironing my hair over and over again when I didn't have braids. So basically, I'm trying to get rid of the relaxer but I'm putting more damage on my hair from heat damage because I wasn't getting rid of the things that I didn't need. So my second tip is to keep your hair in a protective style. And the braids help my hair grow and um, get the relaxer out really fast. But when I was going through transitioning, I didn't really know about weave and extensions that we have now. Of course I would see girls with braids and you know fake little ponytails, but I never saw people with full out weaves like it is now. People in middle school have weaves. And that wasn't how it was for me when I was growing up. So basically, I, um, 
you should keep your hair in a protective style but the only thing about weave is you have a leave out and now they have closures and different things that I think you should put in unless you're going to get curly hair if you have straight hair you're just putting more heat and damage on your hair because you have to keep your leave out to blend in with the weave so I suggest that you get a closure so that way or, or you can do what's it called the three four the U part wigs or something to cover your hair. You don't want to have that leave out and you're damaging your hair. Right now I'm going through um, a heat damage transitioning. I'm really about to cut it off. But basically my leave out right here, my hairstylist when I get weave, she leaves out a lot of my leave out. So basically my edges and pretty much all right here. And I think it's this half or this half. It's like straight. So literally like up to here straight and then the ends are curly and then I'm gonna get a bang just to cut it off and then keep cutting while it grows to cut off the damaged ends but basically I thought it protected that it protected the back of my hair it made it grow but the front of my hair is left out so I'm still damaging my hair trying to blend it in with that texture even though I had curly weave I would straighten the curly weave too and I would only wear it curly sometimes so protective styles are good but you have to know how to um, handle it and plus you can do box sprays. There's so many different type of protective styles that you can use. So my third tip is to trim your hair regularly. So I know a lot of girls when they're going through transitioning, they want to keep on to those ends. And I understand because I'm not, well, I don't even think I'll be comfortable now with short hair. And I know a lot of girls, if they're so used to having long hair or used to just having hair on their head, they're afraid to do the big chop and they want to just keep those damaged ends. But you have to cut it. It's not just going to fall off or go away. You're going to have to cut it at some point in time. So I suggest what my cousin did for me was she just kept cutting it regularly and trimming it. So basically by the time I was growing out, I didn't lose a lot of length because basically my hair was growing and I would have it trimmed. So I'm clipping the relaxed ends off at a time. Um, I just keep clipping the relaxed ends off. So basically after a while, they'll be gone and you'll still be able to keep length if your hair is growing. Your hair grows a half an inch a month. So basically if you have, which I'll get into the next step, a good routine and a regimen, basically you'll be able to keep that length. So the hair that's growing out, say these are your relaxed ends. If you're just clipping them, clipping them, clipping them and your hair is still growing, you'll be able to keep your length and probably won't lose a lot. The fourth tip I have is to take care of your hair and develop a hair care regimen. So when I was going natural, I know this sounds really bad, but I barely washed my hair. I was on swim team and I had braids. So you you guys know, if you have braids, you never want your hair to get fuzzy. So literally, I would put my hair in this, I would do so much, <laughs> so my hair wouldn't get wet. I would tie it up and I would have a shower cap over it and still put my swim cap on so my hair wouldn't get wet. So I never really washed my hair unless my cousin would wash it for me. And even when I didn't have the braids in, I would literally wash it. I don't even think I own my own shampoo. I think I used my mom's or something. And I just washed my hair and then flat iron and blow dry it. So I never really had a hair care regimen. And it's so important to have a hair care regimen because you want your hair to grow. This process is for your hair to grow and to be healthy. You want to invest in your hair. So that means taking time out to develop a routine. If your routine is, okay, I, hot oil, I do a hot oil treatment, then I wash my hair and I deep condition and style it and say you do that every week say you do it every two weeks you just need to have a routine you need to invest in your hair that means taking care of it when you're detangling you just don't want to go from your roots and just go down you want to start from your ends and baby your hair and take it up so you can get all the tangles out you want to baby your hair you want to take care of it you want to invest in it like you want to invest in yourself if you're losing weight or you're you want to have a new wardrobe. You invest in yourself. So you want to put that time in investing your hair too. If you're saying, I want my hair to be wasted by the end of this year, but you're putting your hair up into tight ponytails and breaking it off, or not even washing your hair every once in a while, never detangling it, just putting water on it, how are you going to have long hair and do all this and you can't even take care of what you have? So you have to learn to invest in, in your hair and take care of what you already have. And my fifth tip, this is my last tip, is to embrace your natural hair texture. So when I was transitioning from natural to relaxed hair, 
I would try to hide my texture. I really hate it. Well, I didn't hate it, but I just didn't. I wanted my hair to be straight. All my friends, everybody I knew had straight hair. And I thought if I had curly hair and I was going to walk around school, I wouldn't... I wouldn't blend in and I'm just so I was so stuck and fixated on fit, fitting in with everybody I didn't really embrace my natural hair texture so literally I didn't even know my real texture to be honest until my sweet 16 party I remember getting out of the pool and all my friends were saying oh your hair is so curly why don't you wear it like that and to be honest I never looked at my texture all I would do literally when I got out the shower I wouldn't even get dressed I would take that blow dry and blow dry my hair because I knew if I blow dry, blow dry to dry, my hair would never get straight and it will be tangled and a hot mess. So I never embraced my natural hair texture. And you're going on a journey from natural to relax. I mean, from, re from relax to natural. You want to embrace your texture. That's what you're striving for, health and your natural hair. And you should embrace your texture. Wear your hair out, do braid outs, twist out. It's your hair, it's what God gave you, and it's time for you to embrace it, especially if you want to go and become natural and have a healthy natural hair journey. So I'm not a natural Nazi. I'm not saying that natural is the only way to go. I know people who have really long and healthy, relaxed hair. It's all about what you do with your hair and take care of it. So if you're going on the natural hair journey, I hope my tips and tricks helped you. And also, I forgot to mention this with protective styles. You can do braid outs, you know, braid your hair. And if you have your straight ends, put a roller at the end so that way your whole hair can be curly. You can do twist outs. You can, I love Flexi Rastas. I'm just getting into them and I have a tutorial coming up soon on how to do a natural hair flexi rod set. And there's so many different styles you can do now and so many different resources like YouTube, my channel, All About Marie 54, <laughs> different blogs like Curly Nikki, and different places where you can get so many tips on your hair journey. So I hope my tips helped you guys. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And please subscribe and follow my other social media accounts that I'll leave right here. So you guys can follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.